Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Earl Glenn, shop foreman here at Township Chevrolet. And uh, new year, so we're going to do some uh, new videos. Going to uh, revisit some of our older older topics and kind of uh, uh, go over some of that old stuff again. Uh, so this week, we're going to decide whether or not you need winter tires. Stay tuned. Roll the intro. So in front of me here, I've got uh, two tires roughly around the same size. I got one all season tire and I've got uh, a winter tire. So basically just want to go through and show you the difference between the two, uh, go through some of the benefits and pros and cons to each one. And then you can make a, an informed decision on whether or not you think you need to get winter tires for the, uh, for the winter months. And also we'll just dabble on, uh, on talking about studs a little bit too and decide whether or not that's something you're interested in. So over here, we've got a all season tire. Uh, you'll notice you've got some real deep grooves uh, going straight down the tread of the tire and that's to improve uh, straight stability or straight driving stability at high speeds. You've got a lot of rubber compact uh, compound here, a lot of contact patch. You've also got, uh, there's a few little uh, water sipes but you know to help channel the water away and the wet driving as well. Um, the, the tread depth isn't you know real deep even on the brand new tire. Um, and you've got two wide strips here on both on, on the outsides of the tire and that's there for uh, cornering that's to offer a lot of grip on corners so these tires are designed to compound to uh, be really sticky um, when you're driving in uh, hot, uh, temperatures uh, higher temperatures and dry and wet weather uh, they're great for handling uh, normally the uh, sidewall is usually really stiff on them they're a really hard, kind of hard compound tire to give you a good driving feel uh, and also to keep you planted when you're cornering. So it's more towards a performance kind of handling uh, tire than obviously the winter tire is. So that's kind of your all season tire and that's kind of generally the way it looks. So if we come over to our uh, uh, winter tire here, you notice you can see a few things right off the bat. Number one, you've got a lot deeper tread on the winter tire as well. You've also got a lot of these uh, zigzags and water sipes through the um, through each part of the tread, and I can actually take those and kind of spread those apart. And those are to offer as, as you're turning the tires, those offer grips. So you've got all those edges that help grip the snow and the ice and help you get moving. You've also got a directional tread pattern here, which helps channel the slush and the snow out to the sides, which is great. Um, You've also, even in the tread pattern itself, you can see there's actually grooves and stuff cut into the tread. You're gonna get a compound. This tire compound is designed to um, maintain its flexibility uh, in cold temperatures. Where the colder this tire gets, um, the less flexibility you're gonna have, the less grip. This tire here, however, um, the more you, uh, the, the colder it gets, it maintains that flexibility. And that flexibility is gonna, gonna really help uh, with the grip on these edges. Usually the winter tires too, most people get a, a bigger sidewall tire. Uh, a lot of the time you'll see a car come with, let's say a 20 inch tire uh, for your summer wheels and they'll get winter wheels and they'll go to a 70 inch tire. So you've got a taller uh, sidewall in there as well. So you're gonna uh, lose a bit of handling on the tires as well from cornering. You got that sidewall flex. Um, Another thing to keep in mind and consider too when you're getting winter tires is these tend to be noisier. Uh, the tread pattern with all these edges that grip uh, and the deeper treads and the deeper lugs, they're going to cause uh, more noise. So you're going to get that kind of roaring down the road like a tractor trailer when you're driving and that for the most part is kind of a normal thing. If you get a lot of that noise, you could have an issue with an alignment, you could have an issue with a tire balance, but for the most part, this tire will be noisier than this tire driving down the road and it's just the design of the tire. Um, you can see this tire here also has the spots for the studs. Now studs uh, are only there designed to help with traction on ice. So if you don't drive in a lot of icy conditions, uh, then maybe studs aren't for you. Another thing to consider too is studs actually offer less traction on clear roads. So if you're that kind of person that stays home or you work in a, a position where you know your, your place of business closes a lot when the weather's bad, and you don't reopen again until the roads are all cleared, well then, you know, studs probably aren't the answer. But if you're, uh, you know, a police officer, fire person, a nurse, or you work in a spot where, you know, it never closes, um, you know, maybe studs are something you want to consider. So that's kind of the main differences between these, uh, between your all season, your winter tires. Um, 
winter tires obviously you know offer more traction in winter driving but they're not as good in the in the summer months same goes for your all-season tires you can buy strictly summer tires which are even a step above these when it comes to uh, summer driving they're grippier they're softer compound uh, they have even more uh, rubber contact so the all-season just offers it doesn't do anything great but it does everything decent enough where this here is going to be your best bet uh, come the winter time another thing to consider too uh, used to be years ago people put a couple winter tires on the back or the front of the car and they'd run a, two all seasons uh, the tire companies insurance companies uh, technicians we all recommend you do four tires if you're going to go with winners you keep four of the same tire and you want to keep something uh, the same tread pattern preferably um, obviously if you got two tires that are worn out and you're replacing just two you want to keep with the closest tread pattern you can um, and that'll keep the best stability driving on the road so um, that's been it for uh, tires and winter tires uh, any questions or comments concerns just drop them down below and uh, stay tuned to the channel and uh, we're gonna put out lots of content for you thanks